is a great source of fiber and other nutrients and they offer a variety of potential health benefits including improved blood sugar management, gut and heart health. They are rich in fiber and also contain manganese, vitamin B6, vitamin E, potassium, copper, vitamin C, phosphorus, magnesium, Oh my God, so much. Due to its high fiber and resistant starch content, taro root may increase feelings of fullness, reduce overall calorie intake, and increase fat burning, potentially leading to weight loss. Taro also contains a variety of antioxidants. Always cook the root before eating it to neutralize compounds that can cause unpleasant stinging sensations in the mouth. When cooked, taro is a nutritious addition to both sweet and savory meals. Taro is a super plant! Welcome to Lucy's Healthy Plant-Based Foods! Today, we will be making tasty taro noodle soup! And I got this inspiration from a traditional Taiwanese dish called the taro rice noodle soup. In Chinese, it's called yu tou mi fen tang. So what I'm doing today is because I wasn't able to get the rice noodles, I'm substituting the rice noodles with the Japanese soba noodles. So I guarantee it's gonna be super tasty. And here are the ingredients you'll need for today's cooking. Taro, Chinese celery, or you can soap it with any herb of your choice like the Chinese cilantro, onion, eschalot, dried shiitake mushrooms, the Japanese soba noodle made of buckwheat, liquid aminos, and white pepper. Let's start cooking! Let's start the preparation by first soaking the dried shiitake mushroom in hot water. So we're gonna set that aside and we'll start chopping the other foods. Now the taro is washed, we're gonna have to chop away the skin because the skin is very thick. So you're gonna need to cut away the skin. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Whoa, this is so big. So I'm just gonna do it like this and chop off the skin like that. Well, here's the taro after the skin has been chopped off. Look at this, isn't this pretty? Because we're going to be um, roasting this first and then pop it into the blender. So chop it into manageable sizes that it's gonna be easy blender friendly later on. So not too big. So like, probably like this, cubes. So now we're gonna put it on the oven tray and roast it. Put a baking paper on the oven tray and just pop it all on the tray like this. So we're just gonna slightly roast it so it turns a little bit golden brown and that's it. Pop it in the oven and turn it on 220 degrees Celsius and set the timer on for 10 minutes. All right, while the taro is roasting, now let's continue chopping the mushroom and the onions. So the mushrooms are now soft, so let's chop it. Remove the stem. And then today we want to chop it into thin stripes, like this. The thinner you can get, the better. Make sure you squeeze the water out so it's ready for the dry stir fry later on. I'm squeezing it into the bowl. And remember to save the mushroom water. Do not empty this, save this. It will become our mushroom stock. 
Next, let's also chop the S eschalot like this and then into really thin slices as well. I only have red onions left, so I'm just going to use red onions. It doesn't matter if it's red or white, color shouldn't matter. So let's just chop it into thin slices like this. All right, it's 10 minutes and because I forgot to preheat the oven, it's nowhere near ready. So I'm just going to continue it for another extra 10 minutes and see. We want to see it turn golden brown. All right, now all the ingredients are chopped for the stir fry. Let's turn on high heat. We are going to dry stir fry the mushroom first. And we're just gonna dry stir fry it until it becomes golden brown and the mushroom flavor oozes out. You can start to smell it. All right, you can see it's starting to get a little golden brown color. So to add a bit more flavor to the mushroom, I'm going to add about a little bit of liquid amino in here, about one tablespoon, and just to give it that quick dry stir fry. So let's pop in the onion and the eschalot as well now. Mm, you can really smell the eschalot and the onion and the mushroom flavor oozing out. So we're just gonna turn it on to medium low heat and let it like, um, slowly simmer for a bit until it starts to soften. And while we're doing that, let's start cooking the soba noodle. To cook the soba noodle according to whatever is the instruction on your packet. And cook as much as you like. So let's check in on your onions and mushroom stir fry. Look at this, it's now turned into a very pretty golden color and oh my god the smell the, it, the fragrance it smells so good add some water in here and let it simmer so just a little bit for now on low heat so while we've got the onions simmering and the noodle cooking and the taro roasting we're doing a little bit of multitasking so let's chop the Chinese celery into finely thin chops and you can use as much or as little as you like. I personally really like this, so I'm gonna use a lot. And just chop it into very fine dices, like as fine as you can, like this. So the buckwheat noodle is ready, so I'm just gonna drain it and rinse it in cold water and set it aside. All right, so the taro is also ready. So what I've done is, you know, use a a chopstick and press it in and if it's like you the chopstick can go through it then it's soft inside and it's ready i think i've accidentally made some taro chips it's like super crunchy on the outside and it's like soft on the inside let's try not to eat it and let's chuck it all into the blender so i've just left a couple of pieces for later on to put on to decorate and the rest into the blender and then what we're going to do is, remember the mushroom stock? We're going to add all of the mushroom stock into here. And blend it. So we're going to blend it until it turns into a smoothie. It's finished blending and let's see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. This is what it's like, the texture. And this is just taro. So taro has a natural starchy texture to it. So now we're going to put this into the onion stew we've been doing. Let's add the taro paste into the stew like this. It's very gooey. We're gonna add water into it to dilute it, so don't worry. Finally, I got all the taro paste into the soup. I'm gonna turn back on the heat again now. So this is where it's up to your taste, depending on if you like the soup to be thicker or thinner. If you like it thicker, then don't add less water. If you like it thinner, add more water. So this is very flexible here. And just mix the taro paste in with the other ingredients. It may take a while. It's very thick, wow. 
So this is now what it looks like and it's all mixed in. It's like a creamy texture like cream pasta, not cream, but this is just all taro natural cream with no dairy. And the taste is amazing. So this is the consistency I'm going for, which is like the cream pasta consistency. Now it's just the seasoning. So season it with whatever you like. I'm gonna season it with some liquid aminos and pepper. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of liquid aminos first and see. I'm gonna season it with some pepper as well, salt pepper. This is flexible now, it's up to you however you like it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt as well. Tastes so good now. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And then, so this is actually enough for probably four servings of um, four servings of taro soup. But because I'm only one person, I'm only gonna use one serving of this soup today. So to serve, I'm gonna put some of the Chinese celery that I've previously chopped. Put as much as you like. I really like it, so I'm gonna put a whole bunch. Put the noodle in. So this is optional. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of sesame oil into the soup and mix it in to give it some more flavor. And you can be really flexible and add whatever vegetables you like in here. All right, so this is ready to serve now. Pour as much as much soup as you like into here. Whoa, look at this. So creamy. So it's like, sort of kind of like taro pasta. I like it to be very soupy, so I'm gonna add more. And then to top it off, I'm gonna remember I previously saved some taro, so I'm just gonna put it on here like so. Then the remaining Chinese celery, I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. There. Ta-da! It's ready! Tasty taro noodle soup or tasty taro cream pasta. What do you want to call it? It smells so good and I can't wait to try it. Look at this. Doesn't this look yummy? Finally, the best part. I can eat now. Finally, I am starving. Can't wait to start. <gasps> Look at this, oh my god. Mm -mm. Oh, this is like cream pasta. Oh, it's still crunchy. This is really yummy. You really have to try this. I think I accidentally invented taro cream pasta. It is so good. And it blends in perfectly with the shiitake mushroom. This is so yummy. And because I used the soba noodle, which is made from 100% buckwheat, it makes this what used to be a not so healthy dish to now it's a super healthy plant-based dish. Full of fiber, nutrients, protein, whatever you want. You really have to try this. This is so yummy. Wow, this is too good not to share. Remember to press subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And also share this with your friends and family and cook it and try it. This tastes amazing. You're gonna love it. Live healthy, live happy. Woohoo! I'll see you next Thursday. Mwah. <laughs> This is where the amount of nutrients you get or the fibers you get or the, or the fibers or the may help lower blood sugar no may help <laughs> blood sugar and guilt free woohoo keep mixing keep mixing and look at my hands it's a bit dirty from all the sesame mm -mm. oh my god the blend of the raw honey and the sesame and the cacao, it just burst in your mouth. Let's hope I'm not going to make a mess. And I did it. Oops, that's too much. Oh well. And we're ready. Our sesame. Mm? So even though this is my secret recipe, 
I'm happy to share it with as many people as. Oh, so feel free to share. Oh, so the reason why. Um, so the reason why. So cheers. There you go. My secret sesame hot chocolate. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, mmm, so how her? Ah, this is the best drink on a evening when it's hot and when it's cold and rainy and cloudy like it is today. I'm gonna go continue enjoy my drink now. See ya.